Hey guys, welcome to Big Sim Gaming. This is my very first game creation of American Truck Simulator. I've been playing this for a little bit now and I actually quite enjoy it. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to do a really easy run uh, for this first one. Uh, so it's just from Carlsbad to San Diego. Probably only takes about 10 or so minutes, but I just wanted to try this content creation thing for a, uh, I don't know, see how it goes anyway. Uh, so I'm driving a Kenworth uh, here. I've just got a low boy, uh, uh, low bed trailer on it. Um, and we're just going to go and pick up a bulldozer uh, from this um, uh, roadside here. Um, so I don't know. Oh, hang on, there it is. Oof. Okay, I just missed it a bit. Anyway, I'll pull in there. That, there it is. I've still I've got a trail on the back though, so I don't know what's going on there. Um, where we go? Cargo market. That's it. Got my own trailer. Pick that one. And that, and yeah, trailer's gone now. So those little flashing lines that you can see there, I'll go back into that. Uh, so I've probably come in the wrong way. So might just do a U-turn, I think. Make sure nothing else is coming. Take it out nice and wide. Don't have to use a bit of room. Um, yeah, now when I'm looking around in this thing, I just use my mouse and then when I click it, that's when I, I can look for it down the ditch. Uh, when I click the mouse, I just look forward, straight forward again. So I find it a lot easier to be able to use my mirrors uh, on the game. So that's why I've got them all up uh, on, the, on the screen. So I can see what I'm doing. And great, got a cop car coming up. Just wait there, buddy, and I'll just wait there. Wait, you're kidding, aren't ya? Oh my gosh. Yeah. American truck simulator. Just like Australian truck simulators, I guess, uh, or driving trucks in Australia real time, because, um, yeah, you get a few drivers around that don't really know how to drive around trucks. So, yeah, I've got no room there. Thanks, buddy. I'll do the best I can. Uh, I don't think I'm going to get this in there. Kind of needed the room where that police car was to kind of swing the trailer back a little bit more. Get the truck going onto the other side of the road. Um, yeah, I'm not going to do this, I don't think. No, no, maybe. No, no. Hit the barricade. Alright, let's go forward again. I think... I think I'm just going to have to wait until he moves. Yeah. Right, about time. Thanks, buddy. Those bloody traffic lights take a while to change. Anyway, now I've got a bit, bit of extra room. Now I'll be able to get her in. No worries at all. Um, yeah, now I'm, I'm actually a truck driver. Uh, I've been driving trucks for probably only about 18 months now. Um, so I'm very new to the game, but uh, I did find that this game actually helped me uh, to be able to reverse trailers um, in the real truck. Um, it's got exactly the same dynamics, and yeah. Sorry, I'm gonna, I'm gonna overshoot that now. <sighs> um, it's got exactly the same dynamics, uh, and it certainly does help. Uh, when you're driving the real thing uh, to be able to get those trailers where you need them A lot of people reckon oh, yeah, it's really easy back in trailers. It's not it's actually quite difficult uh, Especially when you got big big trailers um, Yeah, it can be hard so we're just going to go back in here and We're just going to pick up this bulldozer. So I'm just going to wait for those things to go green and go ding Ding there we go turn the engine off And let's load up this bulldozer. So as I said, this is only a very short run. I just wanted to try this whole uh, content creation thing and see how we go. Right, let's get let's get moving. Let's make sure nothing else. There's a truck coming in the side. Keep way to the truck. Let's 
little different view here and see if I can see it. So, oh yeah, there's another one. One thing I have found with this game is it is actually quite dark, uh, especially when you're doing the nighttime uh, stuff. Mm -hmm. But you just got to be a little bit more careful. I think we're pretty right now. Yeah, off we go. Uh, I've also got, I've got a. Um, no, oh, well, actually, when I first started playing this game, I was only using a mouse and a keyboard, and that was it. Um, and yeah, I, I still found it quite, you know, to be quite uh, beneficial in, in helping reverse those trailers and just driving trucks in general. Uh, but then I bought a steering wheel and a gear shift and the pedals. I just bought them second hand, you know. I don't really like spending a lot of money, so I just did this on the cheap. Um, so I just bought them second hand, I think just the, uh, what is it, the Logitech something something, I don't know, um, but I'll show you a picture of it later on. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, that, that, that's come in real handy, it's, it, I can now change gears just like in a, uh, you know, like, uh, with a crash box, we call it here in Australia a crash box, so it's a non-synchronised um, gear. So you've got to match revs to speed, uh, especially when you're shifting down. Um, I, I did find in this game I'm over revving a little bit, uh, but I don't know, a little bit of practice. Yeah. And cars in this game, just like uh, here in Australia, they don't really give way too many times. Oh, hang on. What's going on up here? Ooh, okay. Alright, move on. Let's try and get some distance. Um, yeah, with the gear shift, I'm still just using a just the standard gear shift, um, you know, with the high range, low range, and the splitter. Uh, but I've bought a um, an Eaton Fuller type gear shift knob that I'm going to change or, or add some buttons to and um, make it a little bit more like the real thing. Uh, but yeah, and I just bought one of those real cheap ones from eBay. It was like 20 bucks or something like that. And but the only problem is is that the uh, the splitter is on the other side. It's on the it's on the left side instead of the right side. So um, yeah, hopefully I'll, I'll make a video of how I, I'm going to be doing the uh, the gear shift um, on the cheap. So it's, yeah, and, and and add it to this Logitech um, Logitech one. Um, yeah, and I've also made up a like a button box, uh, so it's got all my buttons on there, my brakes, uh, sorry, my parking brake and um, you know, engine retarder, um, all that, well, even my camera controls, you know, I've got those on there as well, uh, which, yeah, I mean, I've, I've seen a lot of blokes driving uh, with, um, with not looking out the cab, they're looking um, like from a the side or the rear side of their um, their truck. Oh, snuck that one up. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't know how they can stay on the road. Um, <laughs> hats off to them. I can't do it. Uh, so hence why you can see everything in the cab. Um, it's usually when I get to the destinations that that's when I'll start moving the camera around a little bit just to sort of have a look and see. Uh, I know that when we're driving, when I'm driving the truck, and if I don't, if I go to get to a place I don't know, and if I'm reversing in and I can't see if I'm going to be able to reverse into something or or, um, or hit something or, or can't see out the, um, the other side of the truck, then I'll stop the truck and I'll get out and have a look. Uh, so yeah, I think uh, some, some people have said that, you know, if you, if you playing this game and you're, you're moving the camera around and having a look at everything that you're actually I'm just going to pull in front of this guy because oops yeah, you give me a flash you should have too I should have waited I didn't um you, yeah they say if you if you're doing that moving the camera around and having a look then you're, you're not really doing it right 
you know, you're cheating. But I, I find that if you don't know, you get out, have a look, it's just the same. So, yeah. So in this particular one, where, uh, uh, yeah, I've got to get it, yeah, yeah. got to get it next to that trailer and looks like right into the garage there. So, um, yeah, I find this one, I've got just enough room to turn around and head out the gate again. Um, just got to be careful you don't twist your trailer around too much. Uh, I know, I actually did this once uh, for real. I twisted, I jackknifed the trailer too much and broke all my Susie coils. Um, that was not a fun experience, uh, really. Trailer would not move. Uh, so I had to wait until I got new Susie coils. Um, anyway, here we are. So normally, yep, I'll be sticking my head out the window, having a bit of a look at where we're going to go. And I'll just reverse in now nice and easy it's dark i can't see anything around here and um yeah so i think we're heading in pretty much the right direction that's my dog bluey um yeah i find that if i'm sticking my head out the window like if i'm driving the truck for real sticking my head out the window i can I can steer, but in this I stick my head out of the window and I kept on steering the wrong way. Um, I'm just there's a forklift somewhere. I think I'm well clear of it, I think. I can't really see. Um, anyway. I'll just touch and go. I'm, pre I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm not, not going to hit it. Um, so here we go. We're just going back to those flashing lines there's that for the nice and easy nice and gentle uh, it's not a race trying to get these things uh, in there now yeah, follow me around each trailer handles differently too um no, so you've got to, I don't know, you, you, you play around with different trailers and um, see how they work. So I think we, yeah, we're lined up here pretty pretty nice, I reckon. And again, we're just going to wait for those. Well, I could have been a little bit more to the, to the left, but anyway. I'm just going to wait for those things to go green. There they go. Turn the engine off. And unload, and that's it. Um, yeah. Well, thank you for watching, and um, yeah, leave some comments, and um, like, share, and subscribe, and keep the shiny side up and the rubber side down. See you guys.